<laughs> do you do outtakes of these kinds of things? Do you have a little reel? <laughs> I'm giving you a good beginning, right? Because <laughs> I remember how many questions I had in the beginning and how typical it is for people I meet to say, I have no idea. This is a huge mystery. And that's part of what's so overwhelming about it. So a lot of the writing that I do is directed at those people to reduce the load a little bit because there's a lot to deal with to begin with. But to start to give them some sense of, okay, maybe I can do this. Maybe there is a way to this. And from there to here, there, is not misery, is not suffering. Our whole point was to model how people succeed. But it doesn't mean that they've done incredible, outstanding things. There are a couple of people who have. Randy Snow and his athletics accomplishments. Jim Langdon making it to the U.S. Congress. But for the most part, it's just everyday people getting back to their lives. Many, if not most, including me, credit the rehab process for making a huge difference in what was possible for them once they got back out into the world. Um, the hard work of exercise, the wheelchair skills, the interactions that they had with other people with disabilities in the rehab setting. For me, looking back on it, I realized that I was avoiding that disability community. There was something uncomfortable for me about being associated with that, about being identified with that. I'm aware, thinking back on my early stages of adjustment, that being out in public, there was this thing going on in my head of literally thinking to the people around me, I'm not one of you. I was walking just a while ago. Somehow I felt set apart from them. This process of allowing ourselves to be who we are in the world, of trusting in our own identity, this is an exercise that the disability experience sort of brings up to the surface. But it's not about the disability. Um, and it's not to say, oh, what a gift, what an opportunity. You're going to get to find your true self through your disability. None of that stuff is what I would say to somebody in the beginning. But the choice is still there. One choice could be to be angry and to be resistant the rest of my life. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Or another direction would be, let's follow what's possible. And that's what I've tried to do. And I really never intended to be somebody who was a disability advocate. I'm surprised to this day by the work that I'm doing now. But I look back now at that moment and I see this path that brought me to this. And that I am able to give something to the world, to make a difference for people. And that quality of uh, what I do makes it really worthwhile and satisfying. Did I give you enough pause after the word? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Quick fade, right?